All right, I'm done. Let's take this down. Let's take this off. I ran a 700 time to embroider 35 minutes. Not a bad design, left chest logo. This will be just one of the designs that's gonna be ran at Deco Summit and yours truly will be there as an instructor. And what's Deco Summit you may ask? That's something that Ricoma does annually down here in Miami where we teach you how to embroider, how to do printing, how to basically do anything that has to do with custom apparel. And people like myself, my buddies here in marketing, sales team, pretty much everybody's gonna be there. And we're gonna be able to get you up to speed and you can get your business going and start making that money. So I have one more order of business to do. And it may seem like a lot, but this year we have a secret weapon. But before we get to that secret weapon, we have 122 shirts to do front and back for this year's deco summit which is going to be the biggest one yet we've had there's gonna be a bunch of people coming from everywhere we got a whole bunch of staff myself included i'm gonna be there but this year like i said we have a secret weapon which is the rebel duo dtf 1202 ta now this thing is a monster the reason is because this machine can print several designs on one continuous roll. You can put as many designs as it will fit side by side and it will print them all at once. And you could just have a continuous sheet and you just cut them out and then you could press them onto your shirts. And this is going to be the thing that's going to make my job way easier because imagine trying to do 122 shirts one by one. That would be tough. Well, thankfully, that's not the case. Yeah, I knew it. There he is. To talk more about the Rebel, I have my good friend Carl here who has helped me out in multiple situations, more than once. Good to see you. Hello. What's going on though? So we have a printer right here that has a 12 inch width for the paper. The head is going to go back and forth. It's going to print on the paper. The paper is going to go down this little slope right here. Inside here is the powder for the glitter. But we use powder. Okay. It's a heat activated powder that melts onto the heat. So there's a little button right here that is your powder shaker that you activate. And this is all automatic. You can put it manually or make it automatic. So as the paper advances, it's going to be going down into the trough so the paper is going to go down in there and you can see that there's a little hole of glitter so as the paper goes through it does just like i demonstrated before as it passes through the glitter just kind of shakes through it it goes up in here which is the oven so uh it's going to there's a little thing that spins that shakes the powder off so that it doesn't get too dirty in there it goes through the oven where it gets cooked all right uh, once it goes through the oven, it goes into the cooling system. These are the fans, and this is the paper right in here. You can kind of look at there. And there is a spooling system that wraps it all up for the final product. So as it prints, it puts the coating of powder, it cooks the powder, rolls it up for the final product. So basically, this is 12 inches in width, but you're not limited to just the, the width because you can print horizontal and you can just be continuous. It is unlimited. As long as you have paper, it'll keep feeding it. So, okay, you are limited to the width of 12 inches. However, you know, most shirts are not gonna go beyond what? that. Right. But you could do a 16, 18, okay. eight, really big, like for a, a hoodie or something like right. that. 12 inches is quite substantial. Okay. And you could do batches. You could run batches. So as it rolls through, you cut, you know, you can just cut the orders as it's printing. So as it's printing, you just take it out, cut it, wrap it, and send it. So if you want to learn more about the Rebel Duo 1202, be sure to click the link below. Now, we have our stuff already good to go on here. I have my file and we've done a few tests already and the test came out good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our Hosensoft software. And over here, there it goes, Hosensoft here on the top left. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to open files and Olivia from, from the tech team was gracious enough to rip the file for us on FlexiRip. We're going to go over to my USB drive and right over here, this is a staff shirt. 
testing PRT. This is a print file. So the Hosnet software will print files and PRN files. So PRN and PRT. And what Olivia did for me was she broke it down in groups of 30. So we're, all, we're gonna do the front in groups of 30 and also the back where it says staff in groups of 30. The front design, just so you guys can see what it looks like, I have it in a single form. Let's go to desktop and it's gonna be right here. This is obviously a mirrored design, but it's gonna say Deco Summit Miami 2023. Palm tree on the side, lies happy sun on the top. This is very Super Mario Odyssey inspired for my, my gamers out there. Side view like this. And it's gonna go on a red shirt too, so even more Mario inspired. So, in the case here, what we're gonna do, like I said earlier, we're gonna run it in batches of 30. That way the file's not too large to the point where we couldn't have it on, this, on the, the actual computer or on, in this case, on my USB. So we'll do four passes, and then we'll cut them up. Then we'll do the back of the staff, same thing, groups of 30. And then from there, we'll go into our pressing process onto our shirts. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do, as we've done already, we're gonna upload the design with the Deco Summit Miami 2023 on the front. And we've already have our printer completely aligned and everything's ready to go. So what we'll do now is we'll just hit print. All right, that's looking good. I like it, I like it. This is such a such a versatile machine. And so what it's doing right now, it's it starts out with the printing, of course. So it lays out the color base, and then right after it lays the white base, and then it takes it to the shaker. So the powder goes onto the design, and it holds in place, and it adheres in this case. It goes into the, the, the oven, and the oven cooks it at 110 degrees. And then once it cooks the, des the design, it goes over here, over to our roller. And then when you're done, when you're done doing your batch, you just go over here and cut it out and then you can continue on. All right, we finished the front side of our shirts already. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna get a pair of scissors and some tape. Let's go ahead and cut out the roll. So it's gonna be right here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the take up reel and I'm gonna press it down so that it comes out and I'm gonna cut it out in strips of 10. That way so it's more manageable. Boom, 122. Got them all laid out here. I'm not gonna cut them all by myself though. I'm gonna ask for backup on this one, getting my team involved. 122 of these that we have to cut out for the event. Here's some these nice prints. Yeah, man. Good, man. Thank you, thank you. So while Alex and Kyle are cutting over there, I'm gonna go ahead and print out the back part of the staff design. All right. And Olivia was gracious enough from the tech team to help me out with this. So thank you, Olivia, and the tech team in general. Once again, you guys have been awesome to me. So, okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and hit print.
All right, so we've printed out all of our staff designs on the back. Now let's go ahead. I'm gonna cut the roll. And just like we did with the front design, we're gonna do it in sheets of 10. All right. And there we go. We printed out 122 of our staff shirt logos. And while that was happening, Kyle and Alex were cutting out the front for me. Thank you guys for that. But I'm gonna need some more volunteers to help me cut these out. All right, so Kyle was gracious enough to come back and cut out the back portion of our staff design. Thank you so much, Kyle. No problem. So meantime, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start pressing the front of the designs. So here we go. We're gonna start with our front design, as we said, and I already have my heat press preheated to 330 degrees for 15 seconds. So that's gonna be our press. And then once we do our press, we're actually going to rub the design for about 10 seconds. We're gonna peel it, and then we're gonna press it again with a Teflon sheet, of course, for both, for both of these processes. And this one, second one is gonna be for 10 seconds, and then that'll be done. So we'll do the front first, and then when Kyle's done doing all of the staff designs, then we'll do the backs. So here we go. So we have our Deco Summit design. And so the method to this is, you guys have seen me done this before, I'm doing this before, the four finger method. Four fingers from the bottom of the collar and the design is going to touch the finger right there so four fingers right there perfect make sure it's centered just like that looks good on both sides that would have a little bit of space there let me grab my teflon sheet and place it over the design and then I'm gonna push the platen in. Before I do that, let me grab a sample shirt that I had. Remember, 330 degrees for 15 seconds, Teflon sheet. Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so there's our 15 seconds. Let's put this out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub the design for about 10 seconds. As I said, no rush, just make sure that it's rubbed completely. And then once we're ready, here we go. And voila, there we go. So our first shirt is done on that sense. We're gonna do the press now for 10 seconds to cure it. Let's change the timer here, 10 seconds. And there we go. And just like that, our first shirt is done. All right, so our first shirt is done. We did our, our seal press. And so one shirt down on the front, 121 to go. Now, what I'm gonna do since I have two heat presses, silly me, I could just do this. I'll set one for 15 seconds, and then I'll set the other one for 10 seconds. That way, instead of changing, I can just move over. So we're gonna do just that. With that, we have completed all of our shirts with the front design. All right, so let's get started on the back. Let me grab some of my staff printouts. And it's gonna be the same process like we did on the front. Only thing on the back, same four finger technique, same pressing process, and same curing process at the end. So let's get started. Shirt number one. 
of the back. So we're gonna do four fingers from the collar. So right there. down and so same temperature 330 for 15 seconds there we go okay oh. Let's just be careful not to pull too fast and there we go now let's go ahead let's cure it 330 for 10 seconds And there we go. One. And let's keep going. And then there were none. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed all of the staff shirts for our upcoming Deco Summit. What a journey, but we did it. All right, we finished with all the shirts. Now let's go ahead and distribute them. So let's grab a few. All right, let's go. All right, here we are in the help desk department. Alright, that's it for us today. It took some time, but we finally got the shirts printed out and ready for the staff at Deco Summit. And if you're gonna be there, I hope you're ready too. If you can't join us this year in person, then be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms so you can see live footage from Deco Summit 2023. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.